My mother used to write me once a week in about a half page uh, typewriter size paper, uh, just a summary of events. She said when she arrived was and was unpacking at uh, Tule Lake, a uh, knock came and she opened the door and there were two ladies, uh, dusty, shoes dusty and so on. They had walked from the other end of camp. They were one of the first uh, inmates there. They said, we heard that the <coughs> Uh, family of the boy that's in jail uh, is arriving today. So <clears throat> we came out to uh, welcome you and to say thank you for your son. And uh, when I read that, I experienced uh, a sudden, you know, uh, removement of a uh, weight on my shoulders, which I didn't realize I was carrying ever since the time when my mother pled with me to. She said, I, I admire what you've done. I agree with you. But uh, if we get separated now, we may never see each other again. If a government could do this sort of thing, they could keep us apart. So please, come with us. It's important to keep together. Uh, <clears throat> and I said, I'd like to, uh, but uh, I'm in, I'm in the hands of others uh, who are looking after me, and uh, you don't have to worry on that part. Uh, I just can't go. I wouldn't be the same person if I went now, because I, I took a stand and I, I can't give it up. Uh, and so even tears couldn't change my views, but it gave me a sense of guilt, you know, on failing to respond as a dutiful son. But I didn't realize I was carrying it through. When I read that letter, saying uh, that visit gave me a big lift. That uh, weight left.